ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and refit camshaft sensor seals on a Vauxhall Astra GTC. As you can see, it's one of those Ecotech engines. You see they're located just down there. I've already disconnected the sensor plugs and just put a bit of cloth down there just so that all the oil don't leak out on them. Both of them are leaking. Now I'm going to remove them. First of all, what we need is a star socket. It's an E10 socket, as you can see, to remove these um, bolts. There's two on each one of them. as well it looks like also always try to clean the area before you take it off because somehow loads of oil come out of it and drains onto the belt. You don't want the belt to, the belt to be contaminated with oil, otherwise you'll need to replace it. Now taking out both those bolts, what we're gonna do is gonna twist it, go that way, and then it should just literally slot it out, as you can see. Now we're gonna remove that little rubber seal, as you can see around it. And refit the new ones, but we're going to clean it out first before we do that and clean out the oil that's situated just around there. These seals, as you can see, straight from Vauxhall. What happens to these seals are they get really hard, and that's why they start leaking after a while after they've been compressed. Now we're simply just going to just pull the oil on top, which is. to refit as you can see I've cleaned the oil up from around where the actual um, rubber seal sits and all you have to literally do is just slot the new one in just make sure you put it the right way around and just make sure it slots in flush and then literally just line it up that looks about right do next is put these star sockets E10 bolts back in. I normally just do them hand tight, but you can literally check for the torque settings. But the torque settings ain't really going to be a lot of these, I reckon, probably around. 20 newton meters between 15 and 20 newton meters try not to over tighten them because they're aluminium bolts so they could snap they snap it's not an easy thing to fix nice and tight everything's sitting flush as you can see just going to do the other one now now we're going to remove this one all you have to do literally is just loosen them 
and then just screwed them off. Turn it. Okay. And it should just slot out. Okay. Just make sure you put the right way. The right way. And I'm just going to clean up that area. Now as you can see, this one's nice and clean. Now I'm going to put the new seals. As you can see it's original boxing seals. I haven't got any copy parts on there, Peyton it. What's it say? So. Put that back on. And just remember to always clean the surface areas. You can see that's just inside where the cams are. But this area where it sits. Also, always make sure it's nice and clean. Now you're literally just going to slip it back in. Slot it back in as you can see. Make sure it goes in flush. There go, that one's sitting nicely. I'm just gonna put the bolts back in. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen, I am using my phone to do these videos and I think I've actually put that around the wrong way as this sensor is supposed to be facing the other way. I was wondering why it wasn't lining up. And that is why. So this is, this is literally supposed to be sitting like that. Tighten. So always go back over the bolts to make sure both of them are tight. Sometimes you tighten one and then you tighten the other, then you realize the other one's still loose. Experience. What I'm going to do is I'll drop the sensors back in. You can see, we've got one that goes there. I'm going to clean the sensor as well. Plug because it had loads of oil in it. I'm just going to connect that one as well. It literally just pushes on. And you push that back in. Thank you and thank you for watching Gab Official. Please like and subscribe to my channel for further content. It will really help me out.
gentlemen, welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and re.